Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. So in this video, we will see how to set some properties to our captured images. So in the video capture lesson, we have seen that when we create a cap variable using the video capture class, we can get many properties using the cap.get method. So we were able to get the width of the frame and the height of the frame. Similarly, we can use the cap.set function to set some values. So you can just write cap.set and then you can set the values of the property. Generally, all the properties which you can read like this, you can also able to set those property using the set method. Now this notation you can also give in the form of number. So every uh, property here has a defined number. So for example, instead of using cv2.capprop underscore frame width, you can uh, just write uh, three here and that will work also. So every property has a number associated with it. So using that number, either you can uh, just, let's say we want to set the width and height, either you can write uh, this as the first argument and the second argument is the actual width you want in the video, right? Or you can uh, just give the number of that property and then give its value. So let's say we want to change the width of this video to let's say 1208 and then let's uh, just set the height, so cap dot set and the associated number for uh, the height parameter will be four. So three for width and four for the height. And let's say we want to just uh, move it to 720. And then we will once again print the value of uh, the width and height. And this time we are going to just give their associated numbers, which is three and four. So let's run this program. You might already know this program, what this program is doing. So it's just capturing the video from your default device at uh, index uh, zero. And then it's just uh, showing all the frames using this I am show method in a window. So now I'm going to run this script and let's see what happens. So when I run this script, you can see the size of this frame is changed. So let's see in the terminal also, you can see before the original size of the video we are capturing is 640 and 480. So width was 640 and the height is 480. Now once we have changed the width and height, you can see the width is changed to 1280 and the height is changed to 720. So even if I have given here 1208, the default camera will automatically set its value according to its resolution. So let's just close uh, this video and let's say we want to just change this value to some random number. So let's say 700 by 700. Will it work or not? So let's uh, run the script once again and let's see what happens. So the script is running and you can see that even though we have provided the 700 and 700, the camera will automatically take the resolution which is available for your default uh, camera. So the resolution remains the same even though we have set the different value to it. So you need to keep in mind, even though you can uh, give any value here, but the camera will only set the resolution which is available for it. So let's give a very big value here. So I'm going to provide, let's say uh, 3000 here and height also 3000. And let's run the script once again and let's see what happens. So when we run the script, you will see the resolution is changed, but the resolution will change to the maximum resolution of my 
the fault camera which is 1280 and 720 this is the maximum resolution which is available for my webcam so let me just close this uh, uh, window so this is how you can set some values so there are many values you can set using this set method you just need to go to the documentation and then uh, search for the value you want to set i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video